Hello, this is Aloisa with Math Leopard. Today we are going to find the parametric equations for a cycloid curve. In order to create a cycloid curve, we begin with a circle which intersects the origin in two space. Let's indicate that point in red. Now we will slowly rotate the circle along the x-axis and follow the curve traced by that point. The resultant curve is called a cycloid. In order to find parametric equations, Let's consider a point on the curve after our circle has rotated through an angle theta. We note that the length of arc along the circumference is equivalent to the distance the circle itself has traversed along the x-axis, that is, r theta. The position of the red dot is not congruent to the position of the circle's center, however. Hence, in order to find the x-coordinate, we must derive the distance from the center to that point. The first step involves extending the vertical through the radius to create a right triangle with opposite vertices, our circle center, and the red point. This construction induces an angle phi. Because supplementary angles sum to pi, we have that theta plus phi is pi radians, hence phi is pi minus theta. Let's denote the distance from the center of the circle to that point on the cycloid by h. We know that our x-coordinate will be h less than the arc length r theta. Using triangle tri trigonometry, we note that h is equivalent to r sine phi, where phi was found to be pi minus theta. Using the difference formula for sine, we have that our x-coordinate now becomes r theta minus r times the quantity sine pi times cosine theta minus sine theta times cosine pi. But sine of pi is 0, and cosine of pi is negative 1. Hence, this simplifies to r theta minus r times sine theta. Factoring out radius r, we have that the parametric equation for the x-coordinate is given by r times the quantity theta minus sine theta. Now let's consider how we can solve for y in the same manner. We note that the coordinate for y, as pictured, is greater than the circle's radius. Let's call this distance m. Hence, the y-coordinate can be written simply as r plus m. Using trigonometry once again, we note that the side m is adjacent to the angle phi, hence y is equals to r plus r times cosine phi. Since phi was found to be pi minus theta, our value for y becomes r plus r times cosine of the quantity pi minus theta. Using the difference formula for cosine, we expand this expression into r plus r times the quantity cosine pi times cosine theta plus sine of pi times sine theta. Given that cosine of pi is negative 1 and sine of pi is 0, this simplifies to r minus r cosine of theta. Factoring out the r, we have that y is equals to r times the quantity 1 minus cosine theta. Hence, the parametric equations for a cycloid curve with respect to radius r and angle theta are given as r times the quantity theta minus sine of theta, comma, r times the quantity 1 minus cosine of theta. Thanks for playing, and I'll see you next time.